Hey guys, welcome to What's in the Box. I've been playing Pokemon Go for a long time, since July of 2016. There's accessories that come with it, there's a bunch of things, it took the world by storm, huge downloads in the App Store, and I'm still playing it today. I don't care what you guys say, I still play the game, I'm catching as many Pokemon as I can, until I clear out everything and complete that damn Pokedex, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to abandon the game. I'm still going to play until I complete everything. Except for the regions. I'm not going to travel to Asia to get that region specific Pokemon. I'm trying to capture everything that I can here at home in Canada. I want to talk about the Pokemon Go Plus, which is a device that you walk around, you don't have to look at your screen. It attaches through Bluetooth and every time that this device vibrates it shows a different color if it's blue it's a pokestop if it's um, green there's a pokemon around there and then if it flashes a certain color and vibrates a certain way it tells you if it's a new pokemon that you haven't caught before or if it's an old one i've been through two batteries with this one since august and i believe it's not full-time i'm more part-time playing with this at least an hour a day so that's how long the battery lasts on this one I've been searching online for an alternative or a hack to this device so I don't have to click. Every time I have to click this damn thing, every time I'm going like this, I'm on the bus holding a drink or something, and all of a sudden I have to click it, pull ninja style, click on it real quick, hold on to the, to the bar so I don't fall over in the bus. Found a solution. Guess what? Goodbye, Pokemon Go Plus. Yes, I will use you uh, again. I found... This one, Gotcha, Gotcha, Gotcha for Pokemon Go. It says right here, this product is not sponsored, endorsed, or approved by Nintendo, the Pokemon Company, or Niantic. So I'm not their promoter. I'm just unboxing it. I'm, I'm showing you the, the little toys I have. And I enjoy doing that for you guys. So what is a Gotcha? A Gotcha has a touch screen here it's a bracelet you put on like a watch instead of this little guy vibrating and you have to click this one will auto catch and collect and there are two modes i guess you can turn it on and off and there's no button press required it's the ultimate accessory for pokemon hunters so it says right there on the bottom on the back here it says with Gotcha wristband, enjoy Pokemon Go on the move without looking at your smartphone with auto catch and collect mode. No button press required, touchscreen graphics, vibration alert, rechargeable USB battery. Gotcha does it all automatically without any help from you. Is it a cheap product? Oh, you're a cheater. I don't care. I'm trying to complete my Pokedex. That's all I care about. This one. USB battery rechargeable. This is a big watch battery that I keep replacing Dollar store is cheap if you want a better quality one ten dollars Canadian. It's expensive USB charging That's today. That's where it should be. This should be a like rechargeable battery in there Let's get into opening up this box. So what's in the box right away? You shake it a lot of loose items um, it's very light. Oh, okay. Looks like that. There's a tray in there. Let's pull it out. Nothing else in there. So, right away, this is what's in here. I guess this one is the USB um, charging cord. And I guess you slip something in here. This is the Gotcha device. Um, it's plastic uh, touchscreen cover on top, and I just turned it on somehow. First of all, I like to talk about this charger. It looks like you oh you can pop it right out, and you slide this in. Then I. I guess you pop this in your computer or wherever a USB charger is and plug it in. I will update this video, though I guess the description down below, 
how long it takes to fully charge the battery uh, and other details as I go along. Right now I'm going to pop this back in. Um, oh, you can put it this way or that way, however you want to put it. And that looks like it's secured. There you go. So right away it says here, gotcha. Is this still on there? And that's what it is. It attaches through Bluetooth. I guess, let me try it on to see uh, how tight this thing is. I'm not sure. There's these little a clasp here. It goes in like this. Little holes. So you can lock it in depending how big your wrist is. And the problem I had with this device is that I wish it was bigger. See how I have to just peel it on. It's it's not that loose until it reaches here. There's a clasp here, lock it into place. Adjustable thing here to lock the band in, and that's what it looks like, just like this. With this one, with this one, let me show you. I guess I reversed this the wrong way because I like putting it on my left hand. So you, I'm going to put this on right now, slide it through, which is kind of difficult. There you go. And lock it into place, um, which is not easy. There you go. Um, I like this rubber feel. It's not rubber. It's a smooth kind of rubber. Versus this, you sweat, it absorbs. How do you clean it? I'm not quite sure. If you can, this one, I guess you can take some wipes, wipe it clean, click it down, it says gotcha. And that is what's in the box. I showed you a little bit of this, and I showed you the new device. I will update you on my blog. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I will just email me. I'll tell you how crazy this one is versus this one, or if this one's way better than this one. We'll see. Touch screen, manual, I don't know. We'll see. I'll connect with you later. So thank you for tuning in.